Hi and welcome back to the channel here at Tech of Tomorrow Down Under. Today I'm bringing you a review and a case unboxing of something very nice from the people over at Thermaltake. Today laddies, I'll be bringing you the Overseer, that's right, this is the RX1, the case unboxing. It tastes good, you put a shrimp on the barbie, you put a case on the barbie, it's all delicious. That said, let's go check out what comes inside this rightfully night box from the people over at Thermaltake, eh? <laughs> All right, so check it out, folks. Before we actually unbox this thing, let's just talk a little bit about it. Basically, the part number of this is the VN700M1W2N. It's a full tower case. The dimensions are 535 by 220 by 580 millimeters, or that's 21.1, 8.7, or 22.8 inches, depending on where you're at. The weight of this thing is 10.3 kilograms, or 22.7 pounds, and there's also a side window. Inside and outside are all completely painted black to make it look really cool. As far as the inside as fans, you get one front intake fan, one rear exhaust fan, one top exhaust fan, a side fan, and a bottom intake fan. These fans vary in size, being the front is 200 by 200 by 30, the rear is 120 by 120. The top exhaust, you have an option of two 200 by 200 by 30s, and the side intake is also a 200 by 200 by 30 millimeter fan. There's an optional bottom intake fan as well, which would be 120 by 120 by 25 millimeters. The drive bays, it has three 5.25 bays, and one can be changed to a 3.5 bay as well. There are five hidden 3.5 or 2.5 bays, your choice. It also has HDD docking on the top of the case, which is really cool for either sticking in an SSD or a hard drive that you want to take the information. It'll also take motherboards anywhere from a micro ATX to an ATX all the way to extended ATX. The I.O. ports on the outside are USB 3.0, you have two of them. USB 2.0, you have two of them. eSATA, you have one. An HD and an audio, you have one of those as well. So anyways, those are pretty much the basic features of the case. We're doing something a little different. You can actually see those on the screen as well. Now let's actually jump in and let's begin the unboxing of this cool new case. All right then, so without very much further ado, let's get this bad boy unboxed. Like usual, we'll start out with my trusty knife. It's a beauty. So when you check it out, I'm starting the case. Get it on the top. We'll have some cool sound effects like always. I'll take the knife and we'll go. Okay, so we got that. So basically there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. I'm actually going to use a throwing star and kill the cameraman. No, I'm just kidding. It's joking with you folks. Can't kill the cameraman, but I killed him who would film the fucking thing. I mean, seriously. I, wait, mind control. Does it work? No, I guess not. Need the cameraman. Gotta give the cameraman love. So anyways, I'm gonna pop the top here. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the trusty knife off to the side without hitting the cat or the dog for that matter. Get the old knife and put it back here. This is kind of a really cool thing. I'm digging it. Flip it over, take the thing, turn it like this. Now hopefully I will not hit the microphone up here. Oh yeah. Now, cameraman, bring your camera up here real quick. I'm gonna show the box and let's give the audience some sound effects. Box toss begins, what now? All right, you guys know I love that shit. I live for that shit. It's crazy. All right, so we'll pop one of these off. Some more sound effects. Whoop. Uno mas. For you non-Latin people out there, that means one more. All right, we got a nice big plastic bag here. And we will remove young plastic bag. Plastic bag is off. Let's get on and let's check it out. We'll start off right here in the front of the case with the overseer. Also got this little goodie right here. So here at the front of the case, see all the drive bays are here, really nice, color coordinated. Trying to see how these, they just pop off here or not. Go over the whole front of the thing, make sure I'm not missing too much here. All right, that all seems pretty solid. So you guys can see all the bays here. There's four that you can see out here externally. It's gonna be an intake fan here. I keep thinking that something's just supposed to pop off or come out of here, but I guess it's not. Let's move up here to the top. This is actually really well made. I like these. These are really cool. This lights up. It says it has like a breath type lighting, so it's going to breathe kind of funky. 
you guys can see that one two USB 3.0 to USB 2.0 external eSATA your headphones your mic and then right here this is where you can pop in a hard drive SSD and take that information up here on top it's kind of hard to see but there's also room for two fans in here me personally if I use this case I'm probably gonna want to put a triple rad or a dual rad up here on top whatever one fits because it just looks kind of cool and I think it's gonna be a nice one to work with I'm gonna flip it around show you guys the side we have a side window with some plastic I will go ahead and remove yon plastic so we see the side window here, this is so you can look through the case. Also it's going to be mounted a big fan here if you want. There are two screws in the back here. These are the hand tightening kind. Go ahead and take off one. Go ahead and take off the other. Go ahead and just set those off to the side here for right now. Pop the side off. Oh, I love that. You guys love that too, the big boom boom. So anyways, let's take a look at the inside of this. A mesh screen here. You could optionally put a fan here if you wanted to. Might make it noisy. On the window inside, I guess we have an additional plastic piece in here. So we'll go ahead and get that out of there. Now you can actually see how nice it looks. Before we actually go to the inside of the case, I'm just gonna flip it around and show you guys the rear. You guys can see there's a rear exhaust fan here. Room for all of your cards down here. If you're using a water system, you have the two holes right here that you can put your fingers in. Power supply goes down here, nothing fancy. Let's go ahead and remove the other side panel and let's see what the cable management options are going to be like on this Overseer RX-1. So let me get these off. Mm, that one's a bugger. All right, there, I got it. Nothing too fancy about that side panel. Go ahead and move that out of the way. Now let's flip it around the side and let's take a look at how cable management is going to be. My hand can fit in here pretty decently. No sharp edges of any type at all. Now the motherboard tray is not removable. Not too many people use it anymore. Probably pisses Rodney Reynolds off to no, you know, in those degrees, but I don't really care about that. This is what's important. I can access the back of my motherboard, I can access my CPU through this window right here, so everything's fine. Cable management looks like it's going to be pretty good. I won't know until you know, we fit the thing together, but it's looking good. Look, down here, you've got places for all your cables to come through. Here on the side as well. You've got all of your stuff, your connections in the front, all coming through, going inside of the case, so you'll be able to connect them very easily. Sorry about that. Something like I get the jibbers. But... I mean, so far it looks pretty good. Here's one of the fan connectors right here for the upper fan. So I think kill management should be halfway decent. I see over here there's a little bag. Here we find an accessories bag. Has a bunch of extra parts in the case all inside of here. That's pretty cool. We'll jump back down here again. You can see down here this is where all your drives are going to go. I'm sure there's stuff that's going to be in here that we just pop them on in there. They should be all toolless, like most of the cases nowadays. I don't imagine we're going to see too much difference there. Then let's go ahead and let me bring it around and let's take a look at the inside. All right, so as the camera refocuses on the side here, we'll take a look right here. We see all of these are completely toolless for locking in your drives. You just pop your drives in and these will lock them in place. Also right here, all of these are slider bays. They also come with all the mounting material for putting either a standard hard drive or an SSD in these. These are all very nice and easy to work with. Very nice. Moving around the side here, you can see there's plenty of room on the inside of the case. Clean and elegant. Here's your USB 3.0 cable. Some people complain about these. I don't know why you complain about these. These are much easier to use. You just stick them right in your motherboard. Who cares about the little bracket that comes with them? I'd rather use my case. And everything else is here too. All your SATA, everything else, all your hardware connections are right here. Also, on the bottom, I forgot to mention on the bottom there's also this removable little thing here this nice grill for keeping out your dust and everything it's also washable you can use that last but not least let me show you guys the bottom of the case some I never really do we can see there's all extra large feet now the reason these extra large feet are good if your case is too close to the ground think about it there's not going to be really any place to get ventilation so if you're using these optional bottom fans you're going to want to have this clearance Ah, there we go. Sorry about that, folks. Sometimes I'm a little late in the game. 
Let's bop around to the front one last time before we go on this unboxing. Do you see that, that pops off completely? There's the big TT Sports fan. Mesh grills that are removable and washable all the way up on every bay. All right, folks, so check it out. The top of the case is actually removable as well. You can go ahead and make a pop right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just tilt this back so that you guys can see this. I don't wanna actually unhook everything, but uh, this is totally removable right here. You can see there's a giant fan in there now, but I believe that you can easily fit a dual rad here on the top if you wanna do liquid cooling. Otherwise, you have the option of these giant fans. So, but either way, it's completely removable. And you can see all the connectors in there now really closely. If you look in there, you can see all the uh, SATA connections in there for plugging in the external hard drives. Basically the case in the raw. So, all right, folks, that's it. We'll see you back here again here on Tech of Tomorrow where we'll have a shrimp on the bobby waiting for you, lads. See ya.